Yes, you are. Go live. Derek Van Dusen. <clears throat> All right, so the question is, are we live yet? Are we live? Oh, we've got an ad. <laughs> are we live? We are live. I am pretty sure. <laughs> I think. Sorry. Oh no, what did I do? What did you do? Sorry for the minor delay. Yeah, we're having technical difficulty because I'm trying to take care of things and apparently I don't know how to take care of things. Tell us if it's working. Yeah, we're watching the chat box to make sure our faces are actually on here. Let us know if we are on. If we are on. We are minus bells and whistles. We see you. Hi. Hey. Hi, you guys. We're, we're figuring out some new stuff. Yes, John. Klee is feeling better. Yes, thank you. I think you need to scroll up the ticker box a little because we have some questions already. Oh, so we do? Okay. We're going to jump right into questions. Yeah, let's just jump into questions. All, All right. right. Go. Do you pay for any online ads, Facebook or Instagram from Dion? No, I do not. No, neither one of us does. I do pay for Etsy advertising. So far, it's not that lucrative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rafi, what glow pigment powder do you use? Uh, Charity, I use... A really awesome non-toxic one. Yes, I use this. This is called Glominex. It's actually the kind of... Uh, it's a powder that they use at raves. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a powder that they use at raves, you know, to, like, throw on people so that they're glowing in the dark. Um, and it is something that if you expose to light for less than 15 minutes, it will glow up to 24 hours. It's the reason that I use it. So I'll grind it up a little bit finer, and this is what I'll mix in with my medium. And Jay Locals Art says, I heard the glow powder comes from Klee Awesomeness, which <laughs> is partially true. I mean, yep. it's radiating off my face right now. Yeah, we've got see. Klee Awesomeness <laughs> glow powder. How do you keep from getting distracted away from your art when you have other responsibilities to take care of? Tell me about it. <laughs> Go ahead, Clee, take that one. Uh, we're still working on that. I think we might always be working on that because life. Yeah. Uh, but it helps me to write down the things that need to happen, including the making of the things. Yep. And mm -hmm. sometimes I have to just ignore the distractions and be like, silence, world. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, uh, for for me, I'm, you know, you guys know that I have the Patreon page and with uh, YouTube and now we have vlog channel that we do. So like, it's the idea of balancing all the different projects along with the art career. And um, it's still a work in progress. Whenever there's something else that's demanding your time, you really do have to look and see if uh, what is your priority at that point? For example, today I was going to work on several things, and instead I had a customer service circus. Try to say that three times fast. No, thank you. I had a package on its way to Sweden that has been lost for 21 days. I had a girl trying to find out if I had made her a pendant six years ago with nothing to go on but a blurry photo with the pendant half covered. And I had a lady place an order, an email to yell at me before the order had even gone through, which was a system mix-up, not an actual mix-up. And all of this caused Clee to say, we need to hire an assistant. We need to hire an assistant yeah. to be like, nah, boo. So Let that, me just take care of you. <laughs> that might be another option for taking care of the other things in life is just hiring an assistant. Yeah. So basically, I spent the whole day with customer service things, which it all turned out pretty okay yep. so far tim says hi joseph says hi hi you guys Hi, everybody if we're missing your comments please know that we're trying to see them all but yep. hello to everyone i think it's good to make a schedule yes yes uh, somewhat i actually work better um with a list schedule so i have my schedule book that i put in things like the uh, what ideally what i want to work on but i try to stay really flexible with my schedule just because of the the human that i am i'm finishing dinner but i'm going to be back joseph stanley all right see you later joseph finish your dinner that's important yeah buffering we're buffering Oh, are we buffering? Oh, mm. see, I knew it. Mm. Sorry, guys. I didn't get a chance to fix this whole um, Streamlab thing, so we might be buffering and, and being all weird. Yeah, this stream might be a little custom. Yeah. <laughs> 
Zoe Reznor. Hi. Hi. Fucking sending love from Tampa, Florida. Hello. Hello. From Florida. Oh, Florida peeps. Florida peeps. Yeah. Hello from Florida as well. <laughs> hey, guys. I do list too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Brandy. good because it gets it out of here and somewhere else. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing because you could easily get overwhelmed if you have a lot going on and it's better to write them down that way it's not floating in the mental ether and making it feel like it's a lot more than it actually is yeah because before you know it if you don't write it down you're like ah yeah creative girl of color hey rafi have you ever done paint parties uh i did one paint party uh that i organized myself and we had five people show up Mm -hmm. and i did i did a really fun paint party where i showed them to just let loose it was called let loose with rafi and we threw dirt at canvas and did all kinds of things and they brought wine and ceviche and it was a really really fun time i have not done one since uh but i do want to do one of those those are fun We've got hello from Indiana, and how important is gessoing a canvas? Those are two separate comments, by the way. Uh, Feli- Felicia, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, I hardly ever gesso my canvas. Uh, m- my idea on canvas, uh, th- the reason that people gesso canvas or have, have made this rule of gessoing canvas is because back in the day, the old masters used to paint on walls that were plaster. And so the idea was to turn a wall into a lighter thing that they could carry in. I think, I think we're a little stubborn about painting on, on gesso. Although when you gesso a canvas really well, it depends on what you want to do. If you're doing fine detail, it's really nice to gesso a piece and get it sanded down. Um, but I don't, I don't hardly ever gesso my canvas. Carol Ferguson says, what's inspiring you these days? Uh, what is inspiring me these days is to get a handle on my uh, my schedule. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to juggle too many things at once. Uh, but it's that life experience, those those things that you run into, those insecurities, those are the kind of things that are inspiring me to to create pieces about feeling feeling empowered and feeling happy in the moment. Derek Van Dusen says, dang it, I'm missing some comments and questions from the buffering, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Is there anything we can do about that? No. Like, if I shut my computer down, will we have better internet? No, it's this this stupid program. Okay. Sorry, you guys. What mailing service do you use? Every time I try to send overseas, I always have issues, which is very bad for future business. I use USPS, and my packages have always gotten there. Sweden, it turns out, is a different animal. They don't even have post offices there, which is why I'm experiencing what I'm going through now. But USPS, first class or priority mail. Priority mail is expensive overseas. Well, for, for big paintings for, for a larger size, she does jewelry, so it's little, little packages. Yeah. So for bigger ones, you do have to pay priority mail. Yeah, it, it can be expensive. I would, go, I would go, honestly, if you're going with a bigger piece, I would go with FedEx. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but make sure that the, the client is paying for the shipping. I would ask also, what are you currently using? I have found that with um, USPS to a lot of countries, you do get tracking and whatnot, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Derek, click on live chat versus the top chat. Carl White. Hi, Picola. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello Hello from Milwaukee. Hello. And hello from South Texas. Yeah, Chemical Barista, Carl White. And Harrison, Arkansas. I love Arkansas. Yeah. Just going to say that. It's really quite beautiful. Yeah, our video of us traveling to go see the kids that's up in northern Arkansas. The Mystic. We loved it. When are you guys going to go on tour? You so <laughs> you're so inspirational. <laughs> we don't know, <laughs> but we do have plans. Yeah, we we'll, do have plans. You we'll, guys will stay updated yes. on that business. Oh, I'm back. Rushed it low. Barbecue chicken and grilled ve- oh, mm, mm, That sounds, that sounds really good. I'm probably going to have chicken salad for dinner. You're yeah. going to have soup, right? Yep. What varnish do you use and how many coats do you apply, spray on or brush on? I just use the polyacrylic stuff. Mostly uh, brush, right? Yeah, and I brush that on. The stuff that you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, and I brush that on, just as long as it's water-based and it's not oil-based. Helen Colville, greetings from the UK. Greetings, greetings. Helen. 
the what? artist in me, what do you do for inspiration when the creative part of your brain takes a break for the day? I take a break for the day. Yeah, <laughs> take a break, go and live life. A lot of your inspiration for your artwork is just going to come from living in a day. And I think a lot of people try to force it. And really, probably the best thing to do is go and do something that most people in the world would consider a waste of time. So taking a walk, uh, going out into nature, just just clearing your mind, and and that will will leave room. I find that whenever I get creatively blocked, it's because uh, I'm thinking too much about things and getting myself overwhelmed, and that usually causes creative blocks. So when I let go, uh, you find inspiration in in the simplest things. It could be the color of a sunset. Sometimes I like to just sit and stare at Rafi. Because he's majestic. Oh, and God. also because it weirds him out. It does weird me <laughs> out. Do you ever have problems with the plastic wrap on the paintings? I've been using fabric to wrap. No, actually, I don't have problems with the plastic wrap because the because it doesn't stick. So it might stick a little bit, but you could peel it right off. Um, fabric wrap could probably you, you could work with really well. We have a problem here. It's so hot and humid here in Florida that... Uh, sometimes it takes way longer than than uh, the month for the the paint to cure. So yeah. it takes it takes a long time for a paint to cure here because the humidity is just too much. Brandy Butcher says, "I just had the worst <laughs> experience with Dick Blick. Crazy. I have used them for years with no issues. Where do you guys buy art supplies?" Uh, I use Dick Blick. Whenever I have an issue with them, I contact their customer service. I give them a picture. I send them a picture of what went wrong, and they usually send me a replacement for free. So they haven't let me down. So if you had an issue with them, um, contact their customer service. Uh, they, they've always taken care of me. Scroll up the ticker tape. Let's see here. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm a pastel artist. How do you feel about using pastel? Do you ever work in pastels? Yes, I do. I do. In fact, uh, a lot of my pieces will have remnants. I, I use mixed media in all my pieces. That means acrylic. That means oil. That means pastel. So I pretty much use a whole bunch of different mediums in one single piece whenever I feel the need to use that medium. They, they all have their advantages. Okay, well, let's move down. We're getting behind. So hello from Oklahoma. Quick, any tips for starting a business, increasing online presence? Post your life and your day-to-day, -day, not just your best pieces. You want to let people know that you're a real human living your life and creating art. That's my advice. Yep. Yep. Post it all. Yeah, a lot of people look at see a lot of people look at me and they're like, "You're rough. Or you're really good at marketing." And in actuality, <laughs> I just post stuff for my own reference to be able to look back and 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 think to myself like, "Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. That was a good time." Um, that's it. And so you share your life with people. You share your opinion. Uh, you share the things that inspire you. And I think that that's the best marketing. Like I said, I don't pay for marketing. Scroll it back up again. All right. Uh, Clee, what inspires your jewelry? Mm -hmm. These days, uh, the things that I see in stones, sometimes I see depictions of landscapes in stones and light, the way that light interacts with a stone and texture. Those are the things that are really ringing my bell these days. Yep. Light and texture mostly. That's what I'm about. Light and texture. Yep. I'd like to hear your opinions on tracing and creating art on a computer and painting that art on canvas. Does the ends justify the mean? Honestly, um, every single era where there have been advancements in technology, artists have used to their advantage. And so I don't, it, whether or not you uh, teach yourself to draw things and do it right on the canvas, or if you use a computer, I don't see any difference in that. I, I think that no matter what, if you are trying to get to an end piece, use whatever means possible to get there. In other words, do you, boo? Do you. Did we miss things? Yeah, but there's a lot of questions. If we have missed things, feel free to retype your question because the ticker tape is moving a little faster than we can keep up with. Hey from Quebec. Hello, Hello. Caroline. Thanks. I use USPS and it fails a lot for me, but I will try FedEx. I also have a steady day job where I'm not worried about selling my art. 
I currently give away a lot of my artwork anyway. Well, awesome. Yeah, awesome. you'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure it, it out. Yeah, yeah, you'll get it. You'll get it down. It, it took me it took me about six years to get comfortable with mailing my art out. Yeah. Guerra Movie House said, got hired to teach a paint and drink class at the local brewery, but was told I had to purchase everything. Any advice? Um, that's kind of that's kind of weird. I mean, they hired you. Uh, are they going to give you a per, a per diem for the supplies? Are you getting money per people that are coming in? I mean, it all depends on what kind of deal you have with them. It sounds to me like the brewery thinks this is a trendy thing to do, and they don't necessarily know how. Yeah, it they works. they may not have it figured out. You may have to let them know exactly what it is that you require to be able to do it. Yeah. For publicity, what do you think of that? I think we might have missed the first part of that. Uh, J Locals Art, uh, just give me the, the first part to that because we don't have that. For publicity, what do you think of that? I also give my art away because I run out of room to store the paintings. Yes. Yeah, that <laughs> happens. Is real. That happens. Oh, he might be talking about giving the art away. Yeah, we, so. we do. You, you guys know that I have the Inspire a Smile uh, thing where I do a scavenger hunt around town. And... I mean, if you're if you're working another job and you have the opportunity to give uh, to to do something where you're donating work or something like that, then yeah, go ahead and do it. I have found that giving away my art uh, doesn't doesn't necessarily do me any justice as far as promoting. But there, but when I do a scavenger hunt, I'm basically giving it away, and and that that does really good. Uh, marketing for me and you do on occasion give it away if it's like a really moving story yeah yeah i'm a big sucker for for a really moving story jonathan so. mills said hey from alabama y'all make me feel more confident of my art y'all are amazing oh uh, thank you thank jonathan you very much good, good reply, reply on te tech says tater flaps <laughs> thanks tater flaps to you i think yep yep and Tad Kamis says, thank you for all the quality content. Your videos always inspire me to be the best artist I can be. Love you guys. Oh, uh, we love so you much. too. You're awesome. Pass the costs on to the people taking the class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here's Listen. what you're going to need, customers, for your supplies for my painting class. And that way they know they make the investment, they get the experience. Yep. And bada bing. That's very good advice. Yeah, and they're there to have a good time, and the brewery is attracting people. Just remember, a lot of times businesses or like places are like, you know, we're. It, it's almost like they approach you like, we're doing you a favor, and in actuality... Um, you you have to set up the guidelines. Like, no, this is this is what I'm gonna need. This is what's fair for me. The artist in me. What type of wood do you paint on? How do you prep and finish after a finished painting? To be honest with you, I paint on just about any kind of wood. Uh, whatever wood. I, when I first started, I didn't really have money for canvas, so whatever wood was available, whether it was old or new, I painted on that and just uh, just finished it the same way that you would finish something that was varnished. John Groning says, any tips for increasing following on Instagram? Just keep posting consistently. That's yeah, it. I watch Rafi's feed and he posts about five times more often than I do and he's got way more followers. I try to I try to post at least once a day and sometimes I miss it and that's it. Just just make it really simple for yourself where like it, it takes you five minutes a day to post something across the board. And also I think I saw one that went off the screen that Jerry's Artorama is a good art supply place. And yes. you've ordered through that yes, I have. too. Yes, I have. And scroll it back up for just a moment here. Would it be okay to plug your page in the comments? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Do you do shows in Virginia? Have not done we any shows not? in Virginia, but... We are interested. Yeah. Yeah, there is there is a point where I'd love to have like a travel van or something, like some kind of really cool Winnebago. Like that, a mobile art studio. Yeah, a mobile a art studio. Bus. I thought it would be cool. Virginia is high up on the list of places, actually, that I'm interested in checking out. Would you recommend creating a customer base for prints before having them printed or no? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, a lot of my prints are print-on-demand. Um, that Basically, I, I work on the prints after somebody orders them, and that gives you the opportunity to put more stuff out there than, than having it done. Yeah. I love your channel. Greetings from Vancouver. Greetings. Greetings. And Charity says, Rafi, what wood do you use to paint on slash put your prints on? Okay, I use a quarter inch 
plywood non-treated. That's birch or something, birch, right? Birch. It's birch. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be the really finished stuff that doesn't have a lot of um, a lot of bumps on it because you want the print to sit on there nicely. It's an interior hardwood. Yeah, right? and that's for the big ones. The court the the yeah I use the quarter inch for the small ones, and then for the big ones I use a half inch. Ronnie Talby says, "You two are awesome, and thanks for being so real." This is from Franklin, Ohio. Uh, Ohio. Thank you, Ronnie. Hi. I also love me some Ohio. Yeah. Also very beautiful. I've got family in Ohio. Dana Ellis, I did the scavenger hunt June 5th, did 70 paintings, and it was so awesome. I felt it pulled the community together. It was great to see families searching for my art. Thank you for letting me use your ideas. Oh, Hooray! absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Dana, will you email me some pictures of the scavenger hunt if yeah. you have it, and then I'll add it to my website That's with, with your cool. information. Rafi scavenger hunt. Maybe you should just do a short explanation yeah. of what that was. Okay, so I actually I'll we'll probably work on something. I'm gonna work on something to make that easy. But I have this thing called hashtag Inspire a Smile, and it is a scavenger hunt that you share with your community of small pieces of your work. So I'll, I'll share more about that in the future. We got some hellos, and Carl White says, "Would either of you consider joining a gallery at this point in your art careers?" We're both in a gallery. Yeah. Um, we are. It's a small gallery. And yes, my answer is yes. If yeah, the fit any, was right, then yes. If the fit's right, any opportunity that opens up to you, I wouldn't turn down as long as I felt comfortable with it. If a gallery approached me and gave me some skeezy deal, then no, I wouldn't take it. <laughs> then you'd be like, be gone, skeezy. Yeah, yeah be gone, <laughs> skeezy. Dark Blossom just got off work. What a nice way to finish the day watching you guys. Ah, uh, hi. I think that brings me to our question that we want to pose to you guys, which was we were really debating about the day in which the live stream happens, and we were debating between Wednesday and Friday and Saturday. So yep. please feel free to weigh in in the comments what yeah, day weigh, would be. Weigh in in not these comments here, but weigh in in the comments when this, this becomes a video. Yeah, let, it, let us know after the live stream has yeah. concluded what day is the most awesome day for us to live stream. We would like and I'll, to know. I'll do a poll on, on, on I'll do a poll on YouTube. That way you guys could contact me there. John Groning, have Birch. you ever thought of putting something together for criti critiques? <laughs> I have been hoping for critiques, but I have no idea where to go. Hmm. Eventually, I'll think about that. I don't. I haven't really thought about that, uh, just because I have so much on my plate. Maybe but that's something we could do with Patreon. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. Birch is super. Whoa, I lost what? it. Birch is super smooth of its own accord with little or no print. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Derek. That's why. That's why I think I I like using Birch. Creative girl of color, y'all missed my comment. Oh. I'm sorry. Please feel free to retype your questions and yes. comments in retype. case we miss them. We yeah. are sorry. <laughs> yeah, retype your question. What's the first thing you do to sell your art? Make an email, make a website, etc. Uh, Rebecca, the first thing you do to sell your art is, uh, for me personally, was to get my artwork out there to go and do like a market. When I first started selling, I didn't use the internet. I went out and uh, got a booth at the flea market. Yeah, the first thing was live shows in person. The second thing was the website. And the third thing was the Etsy e-commerce. And yep. then came the newsletter. Yep basically yep. yeah but you could you i mean use any of those just remember that it's going to take time to take off yeah and i really find that anything online does better if it's connected in conjunction with people being able to meet you face to face yep hi guys watching from australia hi, hi. gypsy girl I'm definitely going to do a Rafi inspired scavenger hunt now to create the smiles and pieces of inspiration Yay. that's awesome derek yes all over the place, all over the world, scavenger hunts. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Brandy Butcher, Wednesday is my day off. I vote Wednesday. Okay, we have okay. one vote for Wednesday. Geez, thanks, YouTube. Only 22. Oh, oh hi, grown me. me. That's lame that it was 22 have, minutes late. Have you ever had the hairs pop out of the wood after you've polycrylic on it? Uh, no, because I put a nice thick coat on there um, to make sure that it's just sealed in there. I've tried my luck at the mall for empty window store, but now they want to see some examples of windows store I can do, but I never did. So what should I do? Tell them I never did it or fake it. Ooh, 
if there are any vacant businesses in your area that are like not being used for anything, maybe ask the owner if you can set up a mock window display and photograph it. That yep. way you have creative freedom and you can do like an example of what you can do and yeah. then present that. Yeah, because the thing is like you're not going to know what you're capable of doing until you actually do it. So I don't know. In that situation, I might just... I. I might fake it. If I trusted in myself that I can definitely do it, I would just tell them, like, you know, uh, I haven't done this before exactly, but I have done other things, and I can do it. Um, not that I condone lying about it, but if you know that you can do it... If you have it in you... Then I would just stay away from saying, like, oh, I haven't done this before. I would just say, like, yeah, this is what I'm planning for you. This is what I can do. Or perhaps find a mom-and-pop local business that you can design a window for and then use that as part of your profile... Or your, uh, what is that? Portfolio. Yep. Portfolio is the word I'm forgetting. Saw your short Q&A. I was surprised that these awesome videos do not make much revenue. Have you noticed that the sales go up as subscribers increase? It does, little by little. But uh, the, I think a lot of people have a misconception about YouTube, thinking that like you know once you get to like 10,000 subscribers that you make some money. People that have a million subscribers um, make a little bit of income. They don't make millions of dollars, but they make enough to maybe pay the bills. So we are we're, we're hundred heirs. We're yeah, we're hundred heirs. <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah. and we have we neither one of us shows much of our art on the YouTube channel, so yeah. it doesn't really translate into sales so much. But we can't stop doing the YouTubes because we love it. So yeah, we love much. you guys. <laughs> Friday is good. Creative girl of color. Recently okay. changed jobs, so I have more time to paint. But at the same time, decided to redo my studio. It's been a couple months, at least, for me to paint. How long have you went without painting since you started? Um, there have been there have been uh, days. The longest that I could go without painting is maybe about two weeks, and then after two weeks, uh, I I need to get something on canvas or sketch something or draw something. And usually, if I'm not painting, it's because I'm working on a series of videos or I'm filming stuff. Uh, so it, that's where I'm still I'm still balancing things out right now. I think I go about a week before I start to feel like I gotta make the things. So now I'm curious, what part of northern Arkansas were you visiting? We were up close by Asylum Fayette Springs. And Fayette, Asylum Fayette, Springs, yeah. so very beautiful. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for answering our questions. Honestly, I feel like we're sitting on the couch next to you. That's Aww. exactly what yeah. I'm hoping for. That's Love awesome. you, Charity. We have so much fun with the live stream with you guys. Wow, I caught you guys live listening while at work from Australia. Oh, it's Hello so cool. From Hi, Australia. John G, join a group of artists on Facebook of your medium. Often these groups have professional artists in them for the critiquing purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely, Carol. Glad to see you're feeling better, Cleve. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Derek, man, I'd fake it. Yeah. 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 I mean, Set if, up a mock thing. That if way you, you can If show. you know that you can do it, then it, you're not necessarily, just because you haven't done it before, doesn't mean that you can't do it. Yes, exactly. Where do you come up with startup fun for the things like craft shows? Most of the shows around here are pretty expensive. Um, I know that for me... I don't know. I Well, mostly and these days we have strayed away from doing hella expensive shows because the market here is highly lucrative for very little monies. So there's that. Well this is this is Leandra. Yeah, you gotta I know. remember we met Leandra at Fort Walton Beach. I know. So where she's living now they don't have those those smaller shows where you could pay fifteen or twenty dollars to do. Where is Leandra? these days we don't want to ask her that's here, true leandra you? message us yes message <laughs> us we'll talk yeah <laughs> do you see an increase in your etsy yes it's been growing actually um and in the last two years i've done double the amount that i did all the previous years before that i've been on etsy since 2011 yep yeah so it almost uh it's almost exponentially growing at this point which is awesome the artist in me should i start an etsy shop and to try and sell my paintings i recommend that you put your paintings online in some way shape or form where people could buy them whether or not it's etsy or something else that you're comfortable with just so that if somebody you want to give as many options to buy your stuff as possible i think i saw derek say that he's from siloam 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. That is awesome. It's so awesome. I love the downtown in Siloam. It's so picturesque. Yeah. Yeah, there should be yeah. more art events there. I'm from, I think they're trying. We met an artist collective group there at yep. one of the coffee shops, and it was they were pretty cool. Well, we go back. We'll, we'll check it out. Yeah. Charity, love you both, too. Oh, thank you, Charity. $15 shows where? Uh, <laughs> So, uh, okay, so this was this was a while back. So, like, different markets, like, if you look at markets or you look at small art walks or smaller art events, usually they're going to be around 15 to $30 per show. Like farmer's markets yeah. and small Friday evening for this, Friday This is walks. something where you're going to be out there for maybe about three or four hours. It's not a big show or big event. So, it, it's one of the things that I'll look at. Depending in, on your city. She's in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay. 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 Yeah, uh, I, I like to stick to those small art walks where there's not hundreds of people showing art and, and you can usually get a pretty good deal. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. We love you, too. Aw. Thank you. We Charity, you. I did a few yard sales at family and friends' houses with my art to make money and go do the craft fairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's good advice. That's a way uh, to, do, to, to raise some money to be able to go and do a big show. We did a yard sale. A yard. Remember? We called it, yeah, the yard and art sale. The we called it sale. a yard sale. Yep. How? The artist in me, how far out would you go to show your art? I live in the middle of nowhere and it's three to four hours to any big cities. The You know what? It's not always like a big city. I would look at any of the surrounding towns, even some of the smaller towns, will have art events. Uh, Fort Walton Beach is, is tiny and they have the art walk and they have uh, two different art events that go on during the year. Yeah. Yeah. Pensacola is not really that big. I mean, we, we are a bigger city, but it's tiny. Uh, and they have the gallery night that they do every month. Mm -hmm. And they have different art walks and different art events. I would look around because wherever there's artists, where there is a grouping of artists, there is a chance that there's going to be some kind of art event going on. And if your town isn't doing any, then start one. Yeah. I, I Where I grew up, we didn't have any art-related festivals, and my friends and I got together and started one. Now, it didn't last very long, and it wasn't super successful, but we also didn't put in the long-term commitment. Yeah, but, but as long as long as you try, and if you have some artist friends in town, and just talk about putting an event together, and uh, just get it started. I'd it's, also like, it's scary, and it's outside of your comfort zone, but yeah. man, just do it. I also want to say, a lot of times, small towns can be way more lucrative than big cities, because there's nothing else going on yep one of the best shows we ever had was in atmore alabama <laughs> atmore alabama nothing was going on the whole town came out to everybody this show. showed up yeah. yeah it was great what do you think about selling art on ebay the mystic i have no idea i've never tried selling art on ebay me either well the only business that i did on ebay uh this was back before we left on our trip and I wasn't working. I was going to thrift stores and yard sales and reselling things on eBay. So I'd find like uh, Polaroid cameras for 90 cents and sell them for $20 on eBay and stuff like that. Just, yeah. to, just to make some extra, extra cash. I have no experience with that either. Yeah. So. I have my own website, Instagram, Twitter, but wasn't sure if that was enough. Yes, any any presence online is fine. You don't you don't have to have all the things. Have enough where it's not overwhelming. Um, if it is overwhelming, that get get rid of some things. But Instagram is fantastic. That's what I recommend the most. Twitter, my Twitter is just slightly growing now. Twitter is another one that you have to be consistent <laughs> on. The mystic animal that is the Twitter. Yeah, so... <laughs> you guys are so awesome to offer all this free first-hand experience. Thank you. Absolutely, of Carol. Course. One of the reasons we do it is because when I looked around for information online, it was I was like, where, where do I find truth and real stuff? Uh, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Hi from Australia. Hi, Joanne. I'm currently working on a book commission. I don't like what they're doing with the text. I feel it will greatly affect the overall look of the book. Should I say something? Yes. yes it's yes. your book. It is. Yes, yep. say something. Yard Sale is a great name. Awesome. <laughs> Siloam's downtown is awesome. Go during the Dogwood Festival in April. It's huge, and I think you'll love it. We've read about the Dogwood yep. Festival, and we were there either right before or right after it. Yep. First Thursday, Friday event. Have cheap, free booth space. Might have to find community to do it in, if not happening where you live. Yeah. 
Yeah, just those first Friday and and first Thursday events. Rafi, do you hold your breath when painting detail? Yes. Yes, I do. Every Every time. Every single time. Almost missed it. Can you please go over your process of making prints at home? Uh, Prints, da-da-da-da-da. Thanks, Rafi and Klee. It's very loud where I am now. Oh. You put a thing on Patreon about yes. the prints. Yes, didn't I you? did. I, I put a detailed thing on how to do textured prints on Patreon. Derek Van Dusen said, How do you start a festival? The short version of that story is that for about seven years, I volunteered at one of our community theaters. And we basically had a kind of a relationship with them, and some friends and I got together and asked, Could we host? We wanted to call it Phantasmagoria. It ended up being called June Fest. Yeah, June Slight Fest is a better thing. name. But they agreed because they knew who we were to let us host this art show, basically in the outdoor space of this community park. Yeah, just contact people. Contact parks, community parks, different different businesses, and yeah. see see what you could do. We have been talking about that, but it keeps raining us out. Even the smaller things are 60 or so, Sigh. Well, I gotta make it so hard. It'll work out, Leandra. Yeah. It'll work out, I promise. Hi, I'm in Fort Walton Beach. I'm a local small gallery on Miracle Strip downtown. What else would you suggest for art festivals events? Thinking about selling at flea markets. Any suggestions? That's that's where we started. We got started at the Golf Breeze Flea Market. Yeah. Uh, I I think the Golf Breeze Flea Market has changed some since we were there. Slightly. But yeah. it was it was a little bit more high end when we were there. But uh, yeah, uh, just anywhere where you can get out in front of people and and advertise, basically market yourself. That's all the markets and stuff. I don't I don't necessarily go to markets to sell my work. I go to markets to talk to people about my work and to market myself as much as possible. Mm-hmm. So they can see your beautiful face and what's, remember you. Deanne says, "What's your favorite way to take money at shows?" Square. Square. And cash. Cash is actually my favorite. Square is actually my favorite. But but we use <laughs> we use square. I like cash because cash goes right in my pocket. I like square shh, because uh, shh. I like square because it's integrated with my Etsy store, so it tracks my inventory. Yeah, that Very works. Efficient. That works really really well. Yeah. Contact Carol says contact your chamber of commerce and ask what events that are going on and how you could be incorporated into a local library. Yeah. Yeah, call for artists, mm-hmm. things like that. eBay is slow to start, but when collectors start finding you and have patience, you get following of buyers on eBay. That's true. Thank you. People are loyal on eBay if they find shops they like. I am. Were you on wet canvas 15, 20 years ago? What's that? I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you two have good hearts, XOS. Oh, uh, thank you, the mystic. Rafi, my husband, James, says your beard is getting awesome. Thank you, James. Thank you. Show them what you can do with your beard. I got a video where I'm doing this. I'm doing the, if I do this, I have the wily like, woo! Woo! Yeah. It's the wily old man beard. I want to do that. I want to get to know other YouTubers so I can come out in the back of their videos and be like, woo, with my crazy beard. You can just be the cameo beardo. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> the beardo. Arkham Ghost says hello from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Hello, hello. Arkham. Ooh, you're near Oak Island. L- love, <laughs> <laughs> love y'all, but I have to run. See you, Joseph. Bye, Joseph. Thanks for coming. Zoe, what if we work really hard on our art and then we don't get a lot of likes, appreciation, and it starts to make us feel depressed, like our art is pointless? Then what should we do? Uh, I've done two things. I've gotten mad and taken it out on myself and everyone around me. I did not find that to be useful. And I'm not kidding. I have done that numerous times. Yes, she has. And the second thing I do is make art about it. Yes. (laughs) I just make more art. Basically, I distract myself by just making art and not worrying about it. Listen, Zoe, no matter how long you've been doing this, you're going to have moments. I think Clee had a moment like that today. I've had moments like that uh, within the last two weeks where it just seems like a piece that you were excited about, you're going to get... Uh, you get no response online or you get no response for it and you start to question your career and your life and what you have to do is just let that go and just create more work yeah that's it that can be really hard to hear and do and in the moment but trust us 
uh, that's the best bet. Or step away for a little bit to get perspective. Yep, I like jumping right in and Me just too. just getting getting tied up in a project that I'm really passionate about. And that way, if anybody, if I'm not getting the response or people don't like my work, then I'm like, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm too enjoying. busy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Gulf Breeze is where all the UFOs fly around. Yeah, That's exactly. True. I want to catch them on film. Yes. We actually have an old video from us traveling around where we caught a UFO out in the Keys. It was a weather balloon. Yeah, weather balloon. Mm -hmm. I would I, like to send you a piece of my work in pastels to get pointers. Is that possible? Uh, absolutely. Yes. We have a P.O. box now. Yes, please uh, retrieve our P.O. box information. Yes, uh, and I'll, I'll probably put this in the description at some point, but it's P.O. box 1882 downtown station pensacola florida 32505 32502 02 32502 yeah yeah sorry we it's a new p.o box it's okay we got the p.o box just for you guys yeah. so that we could send things you could send things i yeah. mean <laughs> yeah. yeah i like square great for tracking inventory yes it's very efficient thank you and good night good night john good night, thank john. you i like square too yep. yeah should have a YouTuber beard off. <laughs> oh, Not please. shave, just a competition. Please yeah, do ooh. that. Yes. Hi from Ontario, Canada. Love your videos. So helpful for us. Thank you, Tina. Thank You're you. awesome. Can I send you a piece of my art to trade for a piece of yours, Rafi? Uh, oh, that's Derek. I don't know, Derek. I don't know. I, I stopped doing trades a long time ago, uh, and I'll probably do a video about that at some point. Oh, but, interesting. But maybe I'm thinking about maybe instilling like a trading card thing where like it'll be small pieces of art that we could trade. Oh, with, that would be with super each other. rad. So that's something that I, I do want to get started. Like I said, I need to catch up with uh, with all the Patreon and all the, the, the video stuff that I'm working on. But once I do, I, there's things like that that I want to do with you guys. Trading cards. That would yep. be sweet. Artist trading cards. It's, it's a thing. We could do it. Zoe said, your guys' answer made me feel so much better, and I'm really relieved that happens to you, too. Thank you. Absolutely. I, I'm not sure that that ever stops happening, especially for us artists, because we're very emotional creatures, and we feel all the feels. But it's just uh, it's good to pour yourself into your work. Yep. How do you decide which thing to make when you have so many things in your head? I write them down. I write them down, <laughs> and then eventually if there's one thing that a month later I'm like, Ugh, why was I going to do that? Then I cross it off. So don't be, don't be afraid to get rid of ideas. Uh, just work on the thing that you're, that's next. The thing that you're most excited about is yeah. usually what I try to work on. Um, oh my God, post the UFO <laughs> video. You still have the UFO video. I do. I do. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe I will. <laughs> Do you offer to your client to split the total payment in two to three payments? Yes. yes. It's called layaway. So yeah. you could do a layaway. Uh, usually what I do is I will hold on to the painting, and when they when they pay it off, uh, then, then I'll deliver it, or they could come pick it up. Tina Colburn said ACEO trading cards. ACEO AC trading cards. Artist collector edition official. Did I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be it? cool. I want. I definitely want to do that. I definitely want to do that. ATCs, yes, ATCs, artists, trading collectors, cards. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I will do the PO box. Hooray! Awesome, buddy. We're so excited to get things in the PO box. Make your own UFO. I've wanted to make uh, several things out of metal, like a rocket ship. Metal. Maybe even a UFO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Never hurts to ask. No, Derek, we could do we could do like a little trading card thing. I'm, uh, I'm serious. Like a and yes, a it, PO box size one. Yeah, it, and it, yes, it never hurts to ask. Have you ever gone to North Carolina Art Mart in November? I hear the art supplies are priced cheap. No, Ooh, but it no. might it might be a road trip. Indeed, I have to go to Tennessee to buy my pearls now. Stay still, Rafi. Buffering starts when you move. Oh, hold still. Okay. Henceforth, this is Rafi. Thank you, Tater Flop. On the live stream. I don't buffer the camera when I move. 
It's because you're so little. Oh. I'm going to start designing my card. Very cool. Awesome. Yes. Awesome, Phil. I'm going to design one, too. I can't draw my way out of a paper bag, but I'm. You'll, you could have a Klee edition. That's going to be awesome. We could do Rafi and Klee edition Klee's trading cards with you guys. Cards. Oh, I'm totally, we're totally going to do that. I'll put something together next month that we could we could do. What if it's like a mystery? Like, you're not going to know if you're going to get an awesome Rafi one or a super crappy Klee one. <laughs> then it's exciting. <laughs> we'll figure something out. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good night. Good night, good night Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> All right, so it's 746, so I think it is time to say good night. It is time to wrap it up. Draw so, on the paper bag. Draw on the paper bag. I just might do that. Yeah. And laminate it. Or have you laminate it because you love to laminate Shh. things. Dollar Tree has tiny canvases. Yeah, Ooh, that'll work. Yeah. yeah Would love to do the trading cards. Awesome. Okay. Love the trading card idea. Okay, well. That's a thing. Then it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. You guys rock. Thanks. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. Yeah, we love you guys. We're going to say a goodbye now. I seriously love you guys so much. I know. <laughs> Hi from Australia. Thanks for all the great videos. You guys are fantastic. Good you guys day, are the Klee. best. Good yeah. day. <laughs> we, we have such a hard time saying goodbye. Because it's true. we really, really enjoy you guys. Good night, you little days of sun rays of sunshine. Aw, thank you. Thank Good night. Good, Good night, night you guys. Mwah. Until next time. Yep. So now I'm going to hit.